Hey guys, welcome to Architecture Atlas. In today's video, I'll be showing you how an architect can use an AI to improve their design workflow. But before that, let me tell you real quick about the AI. So some of you might have heard of this website called Midjourney, which generates images through text prompts. A few years ago, a group of brilliant people got together and invented a code that could detect elements from an image and improve search results. So for example, if I took a photo of a cat and uploaded it to Google, Google would search for similar cats and show it as results. So while all these searches were taking place, a ton of information was being stored that connected images to specific words. Then few years later, another group of smart people got together and said, hey, we all have this information that connects images to text. Why don't we make an AI which does the vice versa of the same? I would type a particular set of words and the AI machine will search the whole internet for the images connected to those words and create a new image. Today, a couple of companies are testing this program out as we speak and although it's still in beta phase many people have already started seeing it as the future but how can architects use this i'm going to try explaining to you how an architect can use this ai why this paints an exciting future for our workflow and some examples of things that i've done at the moment mid journey works through a discord server which is the place where you actually generate images you type forward slash imagine and then whatever you want to create so for example a photograph of statue of liberty under water with fishes i waited a few seconds and this was the result now they gave me four different options in low resolution i can select any option to see on a larger detail scale by clicking on u1 u2 u3 or u4 or i can also generate four more variation of each options and if you don't like any of the options you can develop a different seed by clicking here you can also type the same prompt again but this time maybe add more details you can be as specific or as vague as you want but anything you leave out will be randomized being vague is a great way to get variety but you may not get what you want try to be clear about any context or details that are important to you so let's try to be a bit more specific by typing maybe a dystopian render of the statue of liberty sunken under water with bubbles a school of fish swimming in the foreground aquatic plants architecture 8k hd and after typing this and clicking on upscale this is the result that i got mid journey encourages you to use specific keywords that can describe a feeling a style or reference artists and compositions and also taking two well defined concept and combining them in a strange way for example psychedelic scuba divers or futuristic spaceship under water so let's try something different let's select a well defined type of architecture like a globe now let's choose a feeling we want to perceive in the image like megalithic next let's choose a style so maybe a fantasy style and finally some reference artist so let's go for artists like Oliver Eliasson whom i like very much Zaha Hadid and Andreas Achenberg so the final prompt will look something like this a megalithic globe structure in desert designed by Oliver Eliasson Andreas Achenberg and Zaha Hadid with the fantasy style render so these are the four images that got generated. I'll make some variation on number four and upscale the third one. So imagine the possibilities are endless. Still, suppose your vocabulary of verbs, nouns, reference artists and ideas is limited. In that case, you will give more space for the AI to randomize. If we look into Instagram, ArtStation, blog, etc., we can already see many artists that have generated really cool pieces using this AI. Still, many of these images look more or less the same in some cases or are having some sort of mid-journey type of style. One way to avoid this is by having your own personal set of artists that inspire you and mixing them. If you type extremely famous artists, chances are you won't stand out that much. But if you combine different artists from many different fields, you could get some exciting results. I can already see the comments saying, well our jobs are finished, computers are taking over completely, or this is not art made by anyone, this is a ripoff of many artists, or why will our clients need us now? But the way I think of this is as a design tool. A starting point for your design that can give you some visual ideas how you want your design to move from there and to discuss with your clients. So let me explain. 
in first scenario you are at the beginning of a project you have many ideas in mind but not a clear visual yet of where to start by placing some words together of concept you have in mind you can get a set of images that can set a starting point for your design as soon as you have this you can take that image and start working on top of that or in a second scenario your client says they imagine white palace in the middle of the garden that gives a sense of warmth with a modern style try exploring how these abstract words can be visualized and communicated to your clients do they imagine warm color materials or what type of architecture they would like by placing these abstract words into the ai you can have an idea or maybe discuss these ideas with the clients similar to what you would discuss if you had a material or reference mood board the difference is that mood board is already created with thousands of images in mind like austin cleon said every new idea is just a mashup or a new remix of one or more previous ideas hence your images are mashup of what you choose to let into your prompt in the third scenario let's say you already have your architecture designed but still you are having trouble finding ways to represent it in a better way well this could be the perfect tool you can grab some keywords from your design and match them with two or more reference artists that you can imagine i would suggest going for artists outside of architecture maybe like photographers visual artists movie directors painters etc and seeing what can come out of this now let me show you what i have created these last few days and how i will use this tool in future while generating different prompts i realized that our references make our images stand out so somewhere biophilic incorporated city and the next image was a mid century glass house located in the middle of forest then persian atrium interior architecture merged with a grand tree and next prompt is a black geometric house embedded in the rocks of volcano Then I went a bit overboard and gave human settlement in Mars in the year 2100 as a prompt and at last Hindu temple carved inside a snow cave just to see how different and precise the result would turn out to be. I had fun exploring, contradicting and challenging to explain concept and placing them in the prompt generator. Your results can also differ depending on the keywords you add towards the end. Some people have seen that adding the keywords realistic, render, 8K, blender generates different style of images. And in this sense, adding words like line drawing, graphite paper, drawings and exonometric can steer you in a different direction altogether. Take into account that we are still very early into the software and things are constantly changing. The more images the AI has and the more they are tuned in with specific words, the better our prompts will be. They are already taking measures to prevent any sort of plagiarism, so artists can opt out if they don't want their images being used. Also, these images are not entirely your property since this is open software. Anyone can take any of them and riff off or take them as inspiration to create their own art in some sense. It makes the information available for everyone. It encourages users to be very specific about their references to avoid getting familiar images. If you want more information on Mid Journey and how to sign up, there will be a link down below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell icon to get notification whenever we upload a new video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.